today on Running to Him. The Song of Solomon views the marriage relationship. Today we will read Song of Solomon chapters 1 and 2 and concentrate on chapter 1, verse 8 through 11. Song of Solomon 1, 8 through 11 says, If you yourself do not know most beautiful among women, go forth to the trail of the flock and near pasture your young goats by the tents of the shepherds. To me, my darling, you are like my mare among the chariots of Pharaoh. Your cheeks are lovely with ornaments, your neck with strings of beads. We will make for your ornaments of gold with beads of silver. Now, Jody Dillow wrote a book entitled Solomon on Sex. In it, he described how the Song of Solomon depicts the soulful and sexual nature of a marriage. I used to recommend it at times when doing premarital counseling. And while it's no longer in print, you can find it online and in used bookstores. I highly recommend the book. Another book that I regularly use is The Marriage Builder by Dr. Larry Crabb. This book is a little more clinical, but it's very practical. Song of Solomon is also called Song of Songs. It has two basic interpretations. The traditional Jewish and Christian view is allegorical. It speaks of the love of God towards the Jews and later the church. However, Theodora of Mopsuestia, who lived in 350 to 428 AD, and Abraham ibn Isra, who lived in 1089 through 1167 AD, held to an interpersonal relationship between a man and his wife. It wasn't until the 18th century that that interpretation became the dominant in the Protestant world. Now, I lean towards the man-woman relationship model as the allegorical model takes many, many liberties. Theodore of Sierra writes, How beautiful you made your cheeks like those of a turtle dove. Zoologists claim that the turtle dove not only likes solitude, but is also not promiscuous, the male mating with one female and the female associating with one male, and that the death of its mate, it refrains from mating with another bird. Appropriately, then, he says the church in its relationship to Christ is like her, shunning relations with others and reluctant after his death to abandon him, awaiting instead the resurrection and looking forward to his second coming. He also says her neck is like a necklace. It is a choker, a kind of ornament beautifying the neck. He is commending her for nicely carrying the yoke of religion, which the bridegroom says in the Gospels, take my yoke upon you for my yoke is easy and my burden light. And that's commentary on the Song of Songs. Marriage has three major components, the cognitive, the emotional, and the spiritual. If any of these are diminished, the marriage will struggle. The Song of Solomon addresses all three elements. The outline of the book is the courtship, chapters 1 through 3, the wedding, chapters 3, 5 through 1, and the marriage as the marriage matures in 5, 2, 8 through 4. And the conclusion, finally, in chapter 8, verses 5 through 7. When we return to this book, we will discuss it based on that outline. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.